I'm 13 years old, and I am standing in the dark, and I'm really nervous. I'm wearing a green uniform, red armband, white circle, black swastika. There's a kid next to me. He's 16. He's wearing the same uniform. He nudges me. He says, OK, let's go. And we step out into the light. And for the first time, I am on stage. I'm in the musical, The Sound of Music. And I'm playing Nazi number two. I have, I have no lines. But I'm thrilled. And after a couple of performances, I get bumped up to Nazi number one. And now I have one line. Captain Von Trapp, this is for you. And I hand him a piece of paper. And at the end of the show, Everybody applauds, and, and I realize they're clapping for me. Like, I love this. And I think, this is my life. I now see a clear road ahead of me for my life. I am going to be a professional actor. I'm 14 years old, and I'm standing on the high school stage as a freshman. I have in my hands the script to the musical Gypsy and they want me to read for Rose, the lead. Just read your best, Missy, just read your best. Because any time I read my best, I would land the lead, ever since fourth grade. So, I read my best. And the director's head pops up and says, who is she? And the senior girls who had been play praying and taking their time, playing their dues, look over at me and they say, who is she? And I read my best. <laughs> but I didn't get cast in the lead, but that's okay, because they cast me as a Hollywood blonde. <laughs> and I just knew right then and there that I was gonna be an actor for the rest of my life. So after college, I make my way out to Hollywood, and right away, I get a part in a movie, and it's a television movie of the week, and I tell all my friends and my family, and then when it comes on TV, we get to my scene, and they had cut it out. I didn't make it in. But then I got cast again. And this time the, I was there. I mean, I was like 50 feet away, and you could only see the back of my head. But you could hear my voice. It was me. And I, it was not really what I was used to. So I thought, you know what, I'll do a play to kind of for my sanity. And so I auditioned, I got a part in a play, and opening night I'm backstage and I'm peeking through the curtain, and this actress comes up to me and she goes, is anybody out there? I go, yeah, there's, there's like 50 people. And she goes, no, I mean anybody important. Are there any casting directors or agents? I was like, I have no idea. And I thought, this is not what I'm used to. I'm 26 years old and I'm gonna go for it. I've been in San Diego being a big fish in a small theatrical town doing lots of art. And now I'm gonna go to LA and I am going to go for it. Well, it doesn't take me very long to realize that I am now a minnow in the ocean of actors. Uh, and all of the casting breakdowns kept saying the same thing over and over again. We're looking for the Pamela Anderson type, you know, big boobs and full lips, you know, like a porn star. I don't have big boobs or full lips. But that's okay, I, I found an agent and, uh, and I started getting parts, yeah. I, I got an industrial, I just had to wear a bikini. And I got a commercial. I, I played the mom in Potty Light. <laughs> but I had to have art back, so I ended up getting a cool job at the Odyssey Theater. And I had the only speaking part in the Chicago conspiracy trials. Thank you, Chicago. And I had the one part, and I have this scene. And everyone in this play is someone. They have been on TV, they are in movies, and there's me. So I'm going to kill it. And I do. And I do my scene, and I walk off, and I come backstage. And as I'm coming backstage, I sit down, I'm talking to the actors about how good it was and how it felt when this older actress has to walk across the stage. She has no lines. She just hands a piece of paper to the judge and then walks off. Comes back, stage right, and immediately goes up to this piece of paper that says casting directors and agents in the audience. Do you think they saw me? Do you think they saw me? I don't know. 
<laughs> what about the art? I was not used to this. So I get a call from my agent for a part in a movie, and it's a good part. And I go, and the agents, uh, the casting director's in the back of the room, and there's a guy in the front with a camera. <laughs> right. And I go up there, and the casting director is on the phone. So I yeah. wait. <laughs> right. Oh, go ahead and uh, slate, honey. It's fine. Just go ahead. What? I can. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can wait for you to finish your phone call. Huh? Oh, no. I can. I can. Hold on. I can multitask. Okay. Thanks. Whatever. <laughs> and she talked on the phone through my entire audition. And I thought, you know what? Next. Screw these people. After that, I get a call from my agent to go on a commercial audition. And the first thing that flashed through my mind was, oh, how can I get out of this? Now, if this had happened a year earlier, I would be jumping up and down to have an audition for a commercial. And now all I could think about was, what excuse could I come up with to not go? And I knew it was over. This was it. I was not going to do this anymore. And suddenly, that clear road for my future that I had had since I was 13 vanished. And my entire identity was tied up in this idea that I was an actor. And now, I did not want to be an actor anymore. I'm 30 years old, and I'm still going on my shitty auditions. Uh, but I'm also selling advertising for the LA Weekly, and I'm killing it. <laughs> when the publisher calls me in and she says, listen, we're going to go down to the Orange County, and we're going to start OC Weekly, and we think you, Melissa, should be the advertising director. Ooh. But you'll have to move to Orange County. <laughs> you mean give up earthquakes, floods, fires, riots, slow speed chases from O.J. Simpson, and my shitty auditions? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. I've got my car packed up. I'm driving down 405 South to start my new life when I see this sign on the side of the road and it says, Welcome to Orange County. <sighs> Goodbye, acting. Goodbye, dreams. But if I'm not an actor. But if I'm not an actor. Who am I? Who am I? Thank you. Thank you.